Welcome back. What does the Centennial Summer Food Program have in common with two root vegetables? It's not a riddle. It is, but it's also a national honor for the program. The USDA Food and Nutrition Service recently recognized Centennial's Summer Food Program with one of its Turnip the Beat, as in turnip and B-E-E-T awards. It's for outstanding summer meal programs that offer high quality meals for kids. The Centennial program fed nearly a thousand kids every day over the past two summers, including kids in summer camps, athletes who were practicing, and any other children enrolled in the schools. The parents didn't have to worry about packing lunches for their kids club or target services. Athletes loved it because then they could grab something to eat when they were done with their training or um, practice for the day. And then also just, it was a new idea and it actually, I think, helped produce um, increased our participation as well because then students tried food that they wouldn't have tried before in the cafeteria. So it's extended it to help our school lunch for the school year as well. Forner said she was able to offer additional hours for her paid staff and it was a way to stay connected with the school community. So it was um, great for us to see our students outside of the school day and school year. Um, it was great for me to have um, our custodians have extra work to do. Our um, paras volunteered to help and work for the summer as well, and it gave my staff extended hours as well. The summer food program, like the free meals available this school year, have been available to students and families thanks to federal waivers, which allow districts both financial and regulatory support. It's up to Congress to determine if meal programs will continue this summer. Meanwhile, there's an effort in the state legislature to continue free meals at schools. Right now, students can eat for free under, again, that special federal program, but it ends when this school year ends. The proposed legislation would require Minnesota schools to continue to offer free breakfast and lunch. Schools would be reimbursed for costs that are not covered by federal funding. Supporters say tackling childhood hunger in schools has worked during the pandemic, and it should continue.